Hello everybody, my name is Tiaji and welcome to Gravity Ghost. Now this is something that blew my mind away recently. And without further ado, I'm just going to show you one of the most beautiful games probably of, that will come out this year. Let's go with a new game. And welcome to Gravity Ghost, our first level. As you can see, this game has a very specific art style. It's almost like it's painted or crayon based. Reminds me a bit of Braid or Crayon Physics a bit. The animations are pretty simple, but it's okay, but I've been in love with this game, I totally didn't expect this and it's just beautiful art style, music, sounds, voice acting, and it's a little gravity sort of game. You can, from the beginning, mostly just jump and well, float sort of in the air. You can use the analog stick, I'm using the 360 pad to control the character. And in each level you need to get a star and traverse through a door. There's very little story at the beginning, it sort of unravels within with, with you playing. I'm playing with the controller because it's... I find it easier. Because you can sort of just aim your character where, where you want it to go and... The aiming is... the game... Uh, the controls are unprecise, but... The controls on the keyboard only allow you to go clockwise on, or counterclockwise. Here I can just move... She re, uh, the character responds to the analog stick position. So it's much, much easier. Okay, so let's jump over here. Let's float up, shoot ourselves. Come on. Also, you might have noticed that the planet slide... the planets light up when you're in range and eventually oh no eventually it will not grab me let's go further oh yes and larger planets will pull you more you know basics of physics but I've been in love with this game it's it very much gives you new mechanics to play with, introduces new mechanics. On a really on good tempo, good timing. I don't know what I don't know what to say. It's I have I don't remember when was the last time when a game just made me feel that childlike wonder once again this whole mystery of the world where 
you're actually interested in it. And the story doesn't feel that weird because sometimes stories within like games, oh, it's a mystery story and it feels more pretentious than anything. Here, you actively just want to discover what happened to this girl and what happened to this world because we see like a whole different two worlds and you can also see there's a blue bunny over here so that's a spirit animal or a or well animal spirit you can carry it to the body to resurrect it and come on Your hug. Remember what I said about voice acting? You may have recognized the voice that was heard just a moment ago. That was Ashley Burge, the same girl who voice acted Tiny Tina in Borderlands and also actually played if I'm correct, if I'm correct, Miss Pauling in the Team Fortress 2 shorts. Oh, this is so great. My parents never let me have a treehouse. They never let me hunt these woods neither, but here we are. Tell her, are you a poacher? Me? Nah. I just like to sleep under the stars with a rifle and shoot things to sell. <laughs> what did I tell you? You can't bring food up here. Why not? You never know what a wild animal is capable of. And mark my words, food will bring them nothing, even all the way up here. Okay. Here's a good lass. Safety for... <laughs> oh, blast it! My good thumb! <laughs> As you can see, the animations are pretty good, the cutscenes are just lovely. And I just finished this level in a single try, okay. That was quite easy. But well, I have played this bit before. I'm actually recording this a second time. As, but as you can see, already noticed, there are already new mechanics showing up, like these planets that you can burst. I'm not sure if they're crystal clear bubbles or planets. I might be just murdering innocent people or these planets could be dead. I have no idea. But I just love this game. You also might have noticed that, except for the stars, I also collect, like, flowers. Flowers extend your hair. Which not only is gorgeous looking, it also serves as a mechanic. Well, partially. Okay, I can... I need to get a bit of more momentum to catch this. And... I screwed it up. Okay. This is silly. But yeah, the controls feel a bit flo floaty, I guess, but... I don't know, I never felt like... There we go. Like they aren't impossible or unfair. It isn't a game that, you know, will kill you if you mess up. And now it mixes up a bit. Oh, and I also mentioned that uh, Ashley Birch voice acts probably the girl. There's also Logan Cunningham from the Bastion, and the soundtrack I I can't remember. I remember what games he made, but I cannot remember his name. It's the same guy who made 
FTL music. So you can probably hear the similarities. And that's about it. That's the game in a nutshell. It's just... It has this feeling of a children's bedtime story wonder. The graphics, aesthetics, the music, the space-like... Space-like fant fantasy theme. Less sci-fi, more fantasy. And there's also logical puzzles. Hooray! I love when indie games are just this freaking fantastic. I wouldn't say that the mechanics are original, but the art style, the... Everything is so creative, there was some... Like, you can tell that some passion was put into it. Okay, now I need to float up here to grab this, and you also gain power-ups. For instance, now I can force myself to become heavy and easily... Says easily, as I miss the thing. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. So the further you go into the game, the, f the more control you have. And the levels do get more and more creative. It's just... it's such a treat. I wanna know more. I wanna know what happened. I wanna know the story. A lot of times the story in games is just... In indie games, there's either no story or because it's something procedurally generated or the story isn't that great. And here I'm just amazed. Because from the start it got me hooked in. And it doesn't feel like something pretentious. That's just trying way too hard to be smart, witty or mysterious. And let's see this salamander. This, you can also see that that is also guardians. Let's just grab this. Oh, Nelly, you really startled me. What are you supposed to be? I think I'm a ghost now. Oh, I'm a guardian, one of seven. Yep. Together we protect the. Uh, uh oh, then there used to be a huge planet around here. Never mind. I can fix this. Um... Okay, bad news first. The planet exploded. Black hole situation. But the good news is you... You can uh, uh, collect the pieces of the planet. Yes, yes, this will work. And put them back where they belong. You want me to collect pieces? Correct. Uh, there might even be survivors. Have you seen a ghost box? Not if you came by during my nap. You are really bad at this. Yes. As you can see, the these the characters are original, colorful, and just this game oozes with love and passion. And that's what I really can appreciate. It's also, when someone can just hook up into a game, just so much more. Okay. I can grab this star. Darn blasted boat sprung a leak again. And this is... I have no idea what yet, but it feels like this sort of hub wall that ties together all the story pieces you find within these 
spirit animals. And I think we're gonna finish this. I don't want to spoil that that much to you. This is Gravity Ghost. Available on Steam right now. And I highly recommend this. This is a treat and a real surprise. If you love artistic games with good controls, great story, great voice voiceover, voice work, and a really mysterious sto story, yeah, this is a thing for you. My name has, my name has been TRG and I will see you in the next indie game. See ya!